Hello space enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel, where we talk about everything about what is happening away from our planet Earth. Whenever we talk about space, the first thing that occurs to us is the solar system, right? And this video is about Pluto. Though Pluto was downgraded to the stature of dwarf planet years ago, it doesn't mean scientists got less curious to know about this little planet. NASA designed and sent their new horizon into space only to study Pluto and find out what has escaped us. After nine years of this ongoing mission, NASA has shared some shocking discoveries about Pluto. The most weird and relieving thing about these discoveries is that Pluto has a lot in common with Earth. Want to know what NASA has about this little planet? Stay with us till the end of the video to find out. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Pluto has always been a curious subject for NASA, because before 2006, we knew more about the other planet's moons than what we knew about Pluto. That's why in 2006, NASA launched New Horizons especially to study Pluto. The mission of this probe was to share Pluto's high-definition images with NASA as soon as possible, and help to make us understand the entire story of Pluto's origin and its environment to the people of Earth. After nine years of its quest, from all the collected data and images, NASA observed that Pluto's surface had a large, heart-shaped, smooth platy region called Sputnik Planum. It was just recently made compared to Pluto's other surface. When the researchers got a clear and close picture of this region, they found out that this far-off, smooth, and plain-looking region is actually filled with icy polygonal structures. It has been suspected that these massive polygons and weird structures like crab holes are found in Pluto's heart-shaped region due to the process called sublimation. When we say Pluto shares a good number of similarities with our mother planet, there comes a theory that gives some proof. According to this theory, like Earth, Pluto was also hit by an asteroid years ago. As the planet is situated far away from the Sun and majorly comprises nitrogen ice, the same ice was filled in Pluto's impact creator. The same nitrogen ice, when underwent a sublimation process and converted to steam, carved the lower surface of the planet into strange shapes like crab holes and polygons. If we consider this theory to be true, then all that is happening on Pluto is happening due to natural processes, which signifies that Pluto is as infertile as other planets to have life on it. Except, some things there still don't make sense. For instance, the ice made of nitrogen is white. Yet, NASA claims that Pluto's moon Charon was originally not red. White Pluto has coated it with a reddish compound, when New Horizon reached close to Pluto, it saw the darkest spot of Pluto's plain brightest spot, Sputnik Planum, and right next to it was the darkest spot, Philhu Macula. When the experts studied the chemistry of this spot in detail, they saw a huge amount of hydrocarbons like methane and ethane, apart from nitrogen ice. According to NASA, Pluto, due to its weird orbit, starts orbiting Neptune's orbit for some time. The heat of the sun turns these hydrocarbons into tholins, a reddish compound. And because of Pluto's weak gravity, this red tholin first mixes with its atmosphere, pollutes it, and makes it poisonous. And then, it gets deposited on Charon, which is next to it. All of this indicates whatever is happening on Pluto is all natural causes. But what is pretty strange about Pluto is the uneven gravity on this planet. Not magnetic field, not atmosphere, but gravity is only uneven. Therefore, according to a researcher, Pluto's icy heart is the Sputnik Planum, is located at such a special place, where if there is a little difference in its mass, then already tilted Pluto can tilt even more. Because it is such a special place, if we draw an imaginary line on the opposite side, that line will go directly to Pluto's moon Charon. Such an imaginary line is called the tidal axis, in which, with a slight change, the rotation of the entire planet changes. When all these simulations were analyzed by the experts, it came forward that Pluto, which is currently rotating in a sleeping position, was originally more or less standing straight, and was rotating like the Earth and other planets. But then, when things started to fill up in the impact crater of the Sputnik Planum, due to the unevenness of the mass there, the entire Pluto was tilted in the direction of the Sputnik Planum, up to 120 degrees. According to many previous theories, there are heavy things in the Sputnik Planum and nothing but nitrogen ice. The current researchers claim that nitrogen ice alone is not so heavy that it can tilt the entire Pluto. 
This can only be possible if there is a liquid ocean under the surface of the Sputnik planum made up of nitrogen ice. This is the reason why Pluto appears to be almost like our mother planet. Moreover, a recent simulation even said that the deepest point of its ocean should be 10 times deeper than our Mariana Trench to make up for that amount of mass. However, all these claims will only be ensured when NASA studies the Arakot asteroid hidden behind Pluto. According to experts, this Arakot works like a time capsule and will tell us the whole story of the formation of Pluto and our solar system. The interesting part here is that studying Arakot will be the only mission in the entire space industry that was decided to be the center of the study only after the space probe was launched. Because before no one knew about this structure's existence. But when this thing was discovered near Pluto, it took New Horizons around three years to reach Arakot. After getting Arakot's images, the scientists realized that this structure was different from a normal asteroid. It looks like it's two modules of an alien spaceship. The asteroid appeared red. Its surface is smooth and plain, and above all, it actually didn't collide with any asteroid, but rather fused, which is something unheard of in the space region. This signifies that there is still a lot that still needs to be learned about space. So what do you think? Is Pluto going to be the planet we have always been looking for? Not Mars, not Jupiter, but Pluto. To let us know your views in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more such content. See you soon in the next video.